Well, in the new creator update from Windows, uh, everything's been revamped, and this time we're going to talk about uh, Defender and how the new Defender Security Center works. So we we'll go to usual. We go on the taskbar down here in the lower right, and we find the Defender icon. You can't click on it. If you click on it, nothing's going to happen. Double clicking doesn't make any difference. But if you right click and say open, and you'll see a new window. Now all this new window is is the old system just on a new modern interface. It gives you the same status the last time it was run, all those things. And it gives you different things to look at, which are the same, by the way, as what's in the menu over here. So uh, let's take a look at each one. You have your scan history here, okay, how many threats found, uh, uh, all those kind of things. You can actually uh, click on here to do a quick scan, or you can do the advanced scan. It's just like it was before. So it has all the different things, and then you just set it up, and you click on Scan now to do your scan. Now again, it's nothing different, so uh, it does. you can do the offline scan, which is a new feature uh, as of Windows 10. But anyways, let's go down here, let's go back, and then here's your settings, real-time protection. Now cloud-based lets you use cloud-based protection, means it has the antivirus protection data in the cloud. So as long as you connect to the Internet, you can be, use that. Uh, and uh, the automatic sample submission. Each one of these has a privacy app because you're going to be sharing data. And unless you're a privacy worrier, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, protection updates. This is your uh, just the update of the definition of the day. You'll see these coming out just about every single day in the background when you boot your computer. It automatically updates. But you can check here uh, for any new ones new. Uh, so... Again, those are the ones there, but let's go back here to this page. And here's how you uh, set up your firewall. Now, I'm not going to go through all the different things about firewalls. You can see plenty of videos that tells you how to do that. Uh, you should have your private, though, is on uh, for both. Uh, but anyways, you come down here, you can say, like, install an app, and you can go in here and do all that stuff. But again, and that's not part of Defender, per se. It's all about your uh, networking and firewall protection. Uh, but it's all being uh, set up by Defender when it's installed. Now what you'll see here, the next uh, version is your app and browser control. And you'll see that it'll check apps and files. Okay, this is uh, the first uh, setting. Where it normally warns you about a file uh, being downloaded. You can you turn it off with bad idea. Uh, Microsoft uh, Edge Smart Screen is the same thing, just about warns you about a website, a malicious website. And then have they have a new one for Smart Screen for apps. Now I've clicked on the Family Options, and basically this lets you put up um, controls to uh, if you're sharing a computer with your child, or even on their own computer, uh, to let them not, or not let them do certain things. So if you click on it, you go out to the uh, website automatically where your account is, It'll say your family here, and it'll say if you have any set up, and you can add a child here. Now, I have a separate video that shows you how to do this, so I'm not going to go in it, but this allows you to configure, again, defend your family by controlling what your child can see. So basically, that's it. If you click on these, you'll see that all this is is Windows uh, Defender Security Center is the old Defender with a new uh, flat interface. It does just about everything that Defender has, and it throws in a, a couple of new things here and there. But it's very easy to manage, very easy to see what's going on uh, as far as having your system protected.